This one works as well. Yes, it does, you and me. Yeah, great. Um, and uh, maybe to, sorry, <laughs> to translate it to it and as a great way to uh, start the conversation, uh, maybe Glenn uh, could ask you to tell us about uh, the vision that uh, was shared with Delta during uh, CS 2025 earlier this year. Yeah, it was, how many people have seen Ed Bastian's keynote? A few of you? Oh. Yeah. It, it was really a great honor to be there where Ed talked about our 100 year history, the first airline to reach 100 years, and then our vision for going forward with the central element of that being a focus on people first, both the people of our team that serve our customers and then our customers and delivering an elevated experience. And then he talked about elevation with heart, right, which is elevation that has that purpose of delivering an elevated experience and announced a few new products as part of our vision going forward. The first was Delta Concierge, which is an AI assistant that will be part of the Fly Delta app that helps you optimize and personalize your entire travel ribbon. And then Ed talked about something that's very interesting for all of us here, which is the integration of in-flight entertainment and connectivity on board the aircraft. Delta has 165,000 screens and we're working to make those smart screens again to leverage personalization and that elevated experience for, for all of our customers. Part of that platform value for us and for you is leveraging it with partners. So Ed announced a couple of new partnerships for us. YouTube is going to be a content partner exclusively to Delta. And then Uber is going to be a new travel partner for us that we're going to integrate into the experience. Um, and as we move this forward, those are going to be part of what we call Delta Sync as we deliver that. Uh, Ed also talked about Qualtrics and how we use that information in order to optimize the experience and get feedback from you on what we're doing well and what we need to improve. And as part of that, I just click through the next slide. So maybe. Uh, can you come or explain um, how started or what the Delta's relationship with you as part of that way to, to evolve the global broadband experience at Delta? Yeah, so, so we, we started our, our launch of free with Viasat as a great partner. We've got 888 aircraft now delivering free. Hopefully many of you have experienced that. Um, we then moved to look for a solution on the regional aircraft. And we want to make sure that we pick the right solution for the right mission. And with our regional aircraft, we had very significant weight requirements. So it was to deliver the same screening class experience, but to do it at a much lower weight. And Hughes was part of that process and worked with us to create that solution and to optimize that for our regional and 717 aircraft. And if I'm not mistaken, making a quick rewind, I think it was officially announced in 2023, if I'm correct, for the start of that program with Richard and Chad. So uh, just giving maybe an update on where that stands today. Yeah, you yeah. yeah uh, thank you, Glenn. Uh, thanks, Pakum. Great to see everyone here. Uh, we're, we're delighted uh, with the partnership uh, with Delta Airlines. I think it's a passion mission for, for all of us at Hughes, uh, working with the fantastic Delta team. Uh, the, the regional program's going great. I think there's a lot, lot more interesting news to come in the very near future. Uh, and, and, you know, fundamentally, I think that the clear collaboration that we have, as Ramesh pointed out, you know, Hughes prides itself in, in partnering, truly partnering, not only with our customer partners, but our supplier partners to deliver the experience that Delta wants to deliver to its passengers. Thank you, and maybe turning, actually, it's, it's behind us, but I think we'll be as much on the screen uh, on, obviously, the most uh, recent use, I think, just shared last week by, by the two companies. Um, so can, can you share or explain more about that just announcement about the, around the Fusion program? Sure, so we expanded our relationship with Hughes, and last week we announced that we've awarded Hughes some additional aircraft, so that would be future deliveries for NEOs and future deliveries for the A350-1000s. And for, the, for that, we selected the Hughes Fusion System, which will also be launched on the 717 aircraft for Delta later this year. And uh, well, maybe just, just looking at, at some of the keyword there around Delta and on Delta Orbit. Uh, I think if I was to type on ChatGPT or whatever on, on Google, what is multi-orbit? I may have 
a thousand definitions those days of what it may suggest. So looking at, at your vision of what, what it refers to you as part of this uh, fusion program or connectivity at use and what, what it brings to the table or what make it quite unique or differentiated. Yeah, so I, I think we would all agree that we've heard the words multi-orbit probably more than anything else at the conference uh, this year. And when we think of multi-orbit, you know, I, I'll make an analogy with automobiles. Um, and, and that's, you know, some of us have a front wheel drive car, right? And so the front wheel drive car is more economical, better in the snow, right? More simple, but some of us have a rear wheel drive car, right? Better balance, better acceleration, better on the track, better for towing. So when we think of multi-orbit, there's selectable. I can select front wheel drive and I've got some, some good characteristics there. I can select rear wheel drive. I've got some good characteristics there. But if multi-orbit is selectable, you're giving up and trading off something relative to delivering a great experience. So my analogy for, for Hughes Fusion is they're giving us all wheel drive all the time. So we're able to pull from each orbit what we need in order to optimize and deliver that elevated experience to our customers without compromise. We're not giving up something to do that. We're actually pulling from all of those assets simultaneously. And by doing that, we also have resiliency. So if there is an issue or anomaly on one network, we can pull from the other network and deliver that always available customer experience. With, with the ch weather changing week to week, I think uh, I wish I had that four-wheel drive if possible <laughs> with my car. But uh, turning to, to you, uh, Rita, as well, describing what, what Fusion or the Fusion program is about. Yeah, so for sure. Support. Thank you, Paco. So, so I think the analogy was actually perfect. Uh, why compromise when we're trying to deliver a fantastic uh, passenger experience? Uh, and and let, let's just be frank, right? I think a lot of us travel a lot. You know, how, how many folks have been on a flight where there's been like horrible connectivity? No, right. And if you happen to need to get something done as well, then it's even worse. So I, I think that the Delta Vision with Fusion, we're, we're, we've been able to materialize through extensive uh, collaboration and testing together uh, with Delta. So, so what Fusion basically is, is we're blending multiple transports at the same time, whether it's Geo Leo or, or Geo and, and another transport. Uh, or, or even Leo Leo, right? So, so we have really a, a great trajectory to bring the best capacity uh, to our airline partner uh, that, that's in the marketplace. And I think a, a lot of you uh, in, in the audience, uh, again, thanks to uh, Dan's good work and Ramesh's good work and, and other, your, your good work, we're gonna leverage a lot of your assets. So we're already either in discussions or we have agreements in place with, with many of you to bring this capacity, not only to Delta Airlines, but, but even, you know, our, our vision is exceptional connectivity at scale for aircraft. So, so we're very excited. And again, Fusion uh, ha has been, you know, close to a decade in the making. Uh, we're basically taking on a, on a packet by packet basis and, and determining which route that will go within the same session. And, and I think back to your wonderful analogy of a four wheel drive vehicle, you don't have to compromise if, if you need a, provide more capacity, for example, if it's video capacity. Why waste precious Leo capacity on video? We can lose, use more geo. Or conversely, if we have a cloud-based application, we can leverage more Leo. So with, with this patented uh, fusion technology, we're really able to, to create an exceptional experience. And it's been deployed. It's deployed working at thousands and thousands of endpoints already. And all we've done is we're applying it to aviation, which we're very excited about. Interesting, and, and obviously, well, bringing innovation or something to the passengers usually requires quite some effort behind the scene, or the company working certainly uh, quite hard together. So, how, how much time has, has it taken to work on this fusion program and to, to make it happen or get it started as it is now? So, so we started this with an RFP back in 2022, and we have a very extensive validation process for any new technology that goes on the plane because what we don't want to do is put a technology on the aircraft that we have to ultimately retrofit prematurely. We need a you know, seven to 10 year capex cycle for that technology. So we actually flew this technology on a Delta aircraft, I believe in 2023, yes. to validate the technology 
um, to then work together with Hughes on the aircraft integration and certification process. Sounds good, and, and maybe it is on your side, so what, what excites you the more about this collaboration? Making an amazing passenger experience come to life, you know, giving, giving Delta uh, really the operational flexibility together with us in the future to, to bring on the right capacity at the right time. Sounds good, and, and turning to you, Glenn, if you were to describe this partnership in, in one word, so several years of work and the overall concept and benefit to the passengers, it's just one word, so maybe what, what would it be? And why? So, so I think if it was one word, I would say alignment, um, because there is there is complete alignment on how we measure success, both in terms of metrics, quality of experience, brand loyalty for for both of us, and delivering that exceptional experience. I believe we have complete alignment around that, and then I think we also have alignment around the cultures of our team and how we work together in order to create that collaborative solution. Awesome. And well, as, as a frequent flyer myself, I'm looking forward to testing and enjoying it from the passenger side. So we'd like to thank you very much to share your insights today, gentlemen. It's been a great pleasure to see you. Thank you.